And so there's the red laser. Now they're self-leveling, okay? And there's the green. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna be taking a look at some Bosch lasers, the three plane laser to be specific. There's been a lot of uh, talk about them lately, uh, chats and stuff like that. People asking me questions and, and also a lot of people purchasing them. So I thought that we would take a closer look at the red and the green laser and just sort of give you my recommendations as to which one I feel is, is the better buy and uh, what's really good if you're just kind of getting into it. So um, yeah, why don't you come on in here and I'll show you my two setups. So let's start with a green laser. It comes with a nice case. Uh, they both actually come with nice cases, but I changed the red laser into a T-stack case with the uh, foam insert. But then the green laser, it has so much stuff, I haven't been able to sort of configure it in a way that it'll fit in a T-stack. Now, you may ask, well, why put it in a T-stack if it comes with this box? Mainly because I like to have all my toolboxes connect together. Everything fits in uh, the trailer properly, so I don't end up with these odd size cases. It just makes things a little more streamlined for my for myself and, and productivity and all that good stuff. So um, with the green laser, now I've done a review on both of these before, but I'll, I'll quickly run through them. Um, with the green laser, they give you this extra piece right here. Now this is a mount for like steel studs and things like that. So it can, can mount right on. And then you attach your laser here and then you can adjust up and down. So the green kit gives you this and it slides off. So you don't, I've never even used this thing, but um, this is what I usually use. And it has legs that come out. So both units have the exact same one, okay? both come with the exact same base. And this is a really good base too. I, I quite like it. So based on the bases, they're tied. All right. Now let's look at, I guess the ne next part is an add on. This is if you want to mount a receiver. Now a receiver, is for if you're outside in a low light condition and you can't see your laser you can buy one of these receivers and both lasers have them um, unfortunately this does not work for that laser and vice versa so you can buy this receiver and this will attach onto the back it just clicks in it just slides on on in the back now here's where it gets a little tricky I like this receiver for the green laser more than the red line receiver, okay? I think the green is more sensitive. You can, it, it sort of detects the laser better in low light conditions from my experience. However, I like how this mounts on the back more and how this mounts. I feel that this could break over time and you're just going to end up having to like stick it on with an elastic or something or a clamp. Whereas this, you can thread it to anything. You could jerry rig it if you had to. Now, my clamp has broken for the red laser. There's a little washer that goes in here and it broke. So now I have to replace that and it would screw right onto here. Okay. That just mounts onto this. And then this clamp essentially clamps onto your story pole. All right. Or your grating rod or, or two by four or whatever. That's what these are for. So that's, that's my mixed review. Okay. I like, I like the green, the green receiver more, but I like the mount more because of the threaded screw and it gives you more options if you have to jerry-rig something up. Whereas this unit here, 
you don't have the screw hole in the back. Okay. So not not a deal breaker for me, but it's uh, it's just in comparison, all right? Um, and the receiver with comes with this mount and it's sold separately from the actual kit itself, but they do make space in the box for it all. They both come with these little cards here so you can sort of line up your lasers indoors, okay? It, it does help, believe it or not. I've used these, they do work. So we're on the same page there. Now, one thing that's really sort of, the, the, I guess the main reason I bought the green laser wasn't because of the laser itself, it was because of the batteries. Um, this particular model here, okay, the GLL380, this is the three plane, it takes four AA batteries. You will burn through four AA batteries in one day of use, no problem. Very, very easy, it just sucks the life out of them. So unless you're using rechargeables, um, it's expensive. Now I, I always keep a pack of batteries in here as well as some on the side. So I, I have, you know, like two days worth of batteries. So I'm always good to go. But this one is a lot better because it takes a rechargeable battery, all right? It's on the 12 volt max lithium ion. These are two amp hours and they just slide in the bottom here. When you first get this, it's really, really tight. It just takes time for these batteries to loosen up. But this is why I bought this, because when this battery dies, I just slap it on the charger and charge it up, okay? It does come with a charger as well. It's right here. All right. And it comes with one battery, and I bought a extra battery to go with it. Now I will say this, do not freeze these batteries. Um, if you do, and I have, I've noticed that their lifespan is, is cut in half and then eventually they're just not gonna work. So I think what happened was we left it in the trailer one night and it froze. And so these batteries are not doing the greatest. However, I love the fact that I can just slap them in a charger. Now, if you, let's say, leave your charger at home, which I sometimes do by accident, I'll leave it in over here in my charging station. You've got this little cheat here. Now, they give you this with the kit, and it's basically a battery holder, all right? And it just kind of sits in here. It doesn't clip together, it just sits. And I've never used it, but if I had to, it'll work in place of the rechargeables, okay? So that just slaps in like that. Now I'm good to go. So if you're near like a gas station or something and you really need batteries, you could just run out and grab some and then they just sit in there like that. So I always keep just this extra grouping of batteries in here like this. And this is interesting. I've never pulled this out before. And I'm not sure how. Huh. Oh, I see. There we go. Just got to jam your fingers in there and pull it out. Not as fancy as these with the little clips, but you get the idea. So. That's the number one reason why I bought this laser, okay? Strictly because of the batteries. It was costing me too much money. These take, when you buy the rechargeable AA's, they just take forever to charge. Um, it was just always this like inconvenience for me because I'm not carrying around a AA charger at work. It's just something I don't really have there and it's always getting, when I did have one, it kept getting broken, blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, that's the main reason. Now the second reason is the laser itself. The green laser is claimed to be four times brighter than the red laser. So that's a big deal. If you're working 
you know, in a, in a large facility and you want to be able to see these lasers, it, it is a huge difference between these two. This laser beam seems a little bit fatter than the red, but it doesn't really matter. You just aim for the middle uh, if you're marking or whatever and, and you'll be good. Now, some cool features are that the green laser here, and again, this is the, uh, if I didn't say it, it's the Bob Professional GLL3-330CG, all right? Now, the cool thing about this laser is it can connect to your uh, phone or iPad using the Bosch app. And it's got a Bluetooth right there, Bluetooth button. So you connect, and then you can um, change the brightness levels on the laser. There's three settings that you can only do from your phone. You, on here, you can just change between two brightness levels, but on your phone, it's three. Um, but it also tells you if this thing has been dropped or if it's out of calibration or if you need to calibrate it. And this actually is showing that it has been dropped. So I do need to figure out how to calibrate that. Um, and when I do, I will, I'll make a video on that as well. But essentially, see when I turn it on, see the red calibration light? That right there is saying that it needs to be calibrated. Now, I'd use my phone to show you, but we're using it to film, so I can't. But uh, in the app, it'll, it'll say um, when it was dropped and that it needs to be calibrated. So that's something I need to do. Now, I have checked it with the red laser and with a level, and it's, it is still level. It's fine, but it's saying it needs to be calibrated. So I got to look into that some more. Now, if any of you have done this before, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear it from you. Um, just kind of help me along the process a bit. But uh, yeah, that's something I have to do. Um, what else can I say about these lasers other than if you're into construction, if you're into renovations especially, if you're into cabinet making and you got to hang cabinets, um, cabinet installation I should say, you cannot go wrong with these lasers. They are just absolutely amazing. So behind me here is just a board. We're going to turn them on. So there's the red laser. Now they're self-leveling. Okay. And there's the green. You can see the green laser is a little fatter than the red. Um, not by much, but just, just a hair. But the green laser is just way brighter. Okay. And you probably can't see that on the phone, but but it is. It's just so much easier to see. Um, let's, if you look over on the black T stacks here, you can see the red one right here and the green one here. The green one just stands out a lot more. So the further you get away, the easier the green is. Here's another one. I'm just going to move. Let me just adjust this, Tiffany. I'm just going to take this. And it beeps when it's at a level. Okay, so back here. See, we can really see the green. And the red is quite faint. So there's a good example. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. But that's a good example of the difference between the two. So you can imagine, like this is uh, six feet away. Five, six feet away. If I was in a, you know, 25 to 50 uh, foot room, you would not be able to see that red laser as well as the green laser. You'd really have to dim those lights down, which is hard to do when you're on a construction site and you're working with a bunch of other sub trades. You want to, you know, you can't turn the lights off. So if you're hanging T-bar ceiling or whatever you're doing, laying pipe, uh, plumbing up walls, doing layouts, I would recommend the green laser. Now, the green laser... I'm going to talk American prices here. I believe it's about 550 in that range. The red laser you can get for in the 300s, both with the kit. Um, so if you are kind of just needing a laser once in a while, 
then I would say go with the red, okay? Because it's if you're not needing it for the applications like myself, where I use it for everything, um, I would just recommend getting the red laser. It's not worth the extra 200 bucks. I used this red laser for years before green was even a, you know invented, and uh, this thing was perfect. You know, no problems at all. Um, but when the green laser came out, just a little bit of a higher game changer. Um, and, and also the fact that the sensor is better, you know, the, the receiver, it is a better quality receiver from my experience. So yeah, th that's my two cents on these lasers, guys. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'd love to get to you and, uh, and answer them if I can. Um, yeah. That's all I got. So hope you liked the review. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notify bell. Until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.